So he told me, son, Jesus was here and he told me he's going to take me home. But don't worry, God is going to take care of you. So, and everything is going to be fine. So I was like, dad, but if, what if God heals you? And he was like, you're not God. God has a final say. I was, <laughs> I was in shock and, and I remember crying and asking God, please, if it's in your will, please spare my dad. And uh, I went back to school, of course, very disturbed. And the following year, I was like, hey, I have to go and see my dad and know how he's faring. So I went back uh, to hospital, but I didn't go to hospital. I went, I went, I went at home to, at lunch hour because I borrowed permission. I asked for permission on a Sunday uh, afternoon. So I, I wanted to go uh, during the lunch hour to see him. So I decided to go home and there was this uh, atmosphere of, of I, I can't even say what that was. It was, things were looking like there's something that is amiss. So when I went home, before I got to our house, I was met by a tent. And immediately something told me, Dad has died and these guys have been meeting and they've never told me and I fell down and I remember I fell down and cried my heart out. Because something told me my father is not alive, he's gone. And that's why these guys are meeting. So my, my worry was, have they buried him? Why have they not told me? And I, I remember my uncle, my dad's brother, eldest brother, called Joseph, came and, and saw me and he, you know, he picked me and told me, son, we are sorry, your dad passed on, he's still not yet buried, we have been planning to come and pick you to, from school. And uh, yeah, it's, it's only that you came earlier. We were actually planning to come and pick you so that you come and, you know, be part of this. And uh, it was the most devastating point of my life. I, I never ever in my weirdest of, I mean, in my wildest of, 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 of thoughts, thought I would be left by my entire family, my nuclear family. It was something I had never thought of. You know, can you imagine a 16-year-old? And, and, and there I'm wondering, how will I even navigate through life now? The, the person who was like a pillar that was left, he's gone. <laughs>